and just drop it in. How to do vocal chops in Logic Pro. The vocal chops are a great way to add some variety and flair into your music. And built into Logic is a myriad of vocal samples and the perfect tool set for creating these chops. Now watch the whole tutorial to see how I freeze those notes and get that extra kind of vocal delay feeling going on in the chop as well. Today's tutorial is sponsored by DistroKid. They're aimed at getting your music to all of the digital stores. Check the description below for a discount on your music distribution today. There we are, we got some sick melody with some freezing background vocals. How we did it, right? I'll make a completely fresh one right now. So we'll just stick with our drum loop and bass. Happy days. And what we'll do, we'll just get any old vocal loop from Logic's library as promised. Somebody, somebody. Let's see what we can do with this. We can just click and drag. And if we bring it all the way over here, we can see quick sampler one and two. We'll drop it into original because I'll show you how to set it up rather than optimized. And let's just hide that away. All right, so it's auto sliced here. It might land on classic and look like that, but you've got your three menus up the top here and we want slice. Now what this does, it's gonna slice it based on the transients and the sensitivity here. So it's possible that the slices can come out to be too small. We can tap on our keyboard or in the MIDI down here to hear each one. For example, that first one is kind of useless to us, isn't it? And so is potentially that. So what we're going to do is just slice it up ourselves and adjust the sensitivity. So I wanted to try and get just the whole phrases so we can just dial this back and in real time we can see roughly where we want to be in terms of catching those phrases. And that looks like it's going to be about right. We can use these markers to trim off the start and the end. And we're going to delete this one manually and that looks like it will probably be good. Some, some. And that one's maybe too short as well, so let's delete that. So that's given us very, very simple chops like that. Now, if we were to program something in, in our MIDI pattern, like this, for example. We can hear an issue with the longer sample overlapping. This is where we need to go to our amplitude and bring it down to mono. So it just re-triggers the sample. Uh, maybe just move that slightly. Rather than allowing them to overlap. The other thing we can do is go to our ADS here and make it an ADHSR and control it that way as well. As you can see, adjusting that hold allows us to really decide how that vocal is going to feel. We can have it to be incredibly quick. Or so it does ring out the entire phrase. So from here, it's a case of programming in some kind of rhythm that goes with what we're after and what we like. So we could do something like... We can of course affect things like the pitch as well. So we could pitch it down an entire octave. Or go the other way. Whatever works for you. Something that can be quite fun as well is to build a quick chop like this. And then very simply take another sample you might like. And just drop it in. often find pretty good results doing it this way. If we adjust the sensitivity, we'll get different chops. Now a huge part of getting this to work with your music is having an understand of the breaks and the kind of rhythms you're using in your track. Watch this video next so you can see how to add kind of rhythm, swing and feel and use different breaks in your music. See you in that video in just a second.